Welcome along and we continue the army analysis series by looking at the Serbians, another of the new, one of the new armies um, in the brand new DLC. This is the Serbian 1040 list with Hungarian 1200 allies um, and this is an army that's been used in the league so let's have a look at it together. We've got some defensive spearmen. Um, five of them so they're the backbone of most armies um, if you've been following my my videos then you'll know that most armies will have your defensive spear and for the price they're a great unit really can hold against cav do well against better infantry um, so decent decent option and five is is nice um, but then it kind of drops down a bit we've only got two regular foot and two of the raw spearmen. Not great units, although the spear actually are good value for money. In fact, they, they're both made by um, my first top 10 list, the raw spearmen made it, and then the second list, I did the regular foot. So in terms of value for money, they're great. Raw spear are great at 24. I really like to always include raw spear in my, in my armies if possible, and irregular foot as well at 30. You know, it gives you flexibility. If there's rough ground, then, you know, that's where you want your medium foot and your irregular foot. And they also do well, as I've said before, against cavalry. But in themselves, and when they almost make up half your infantry, that's not the greatest. <laughs> so they're better as um, supplementary kind of units. But still, not too bad when you consider that you've got so much cavalry. Um, and I have about 17 units with this build and um, there's some good units we've got uh, armored noble lancers at 56 they're preset um i've taken an, a one unit of knights um the zekla cav which is bow as well as light spear it's all a mix really and then my um my one of my favorite units the nomad horse archers we can take uh, five, so they're the backbone of most kind of cavalry heavy armies. The great units, all round units, great against cav, great against infantry, especially protected infantry. Um, so they're really nice to have. Um, so you got an, a nice mix. We've got four skirmishers. You can take more. There's a few options uh, with this army, but I'd have to say that overall, I think your options are a little bit limited um cavalry there's no cheaper end lancers um you're also stuck you know this is a bit of a negative from for me anyway the um it's preset for the armored noble lancers that's 56 um that's 168 points and if i take a unit of knights which that costs 72, that takes us to 240 points. So you know, when, once you get to that kind of number, I don't, from the way I play and what I like from my armies, I, I don't have tons and tons of top end units. So ideally, I would prefer maybe if this was only one or two preset Noble Lancers, then I would maybe take another unit of Knights. But as it stands, I I think 240 points for four of these units all together. That's a lot. So, you know, if I added another unit you know, of knights at 72, you're taking away from what's already a very small infantry force. And um, you know, you're you're gonna be you're gonna be taking away from your cav, which really is at 17, even at 17, other armies probably gonna have the same or more so yeah I, th I think that's a bit of a negative too m too many um points they're wasted at the top um you've got some light horse light horse a good value for money so that's good i like the nomad light horse archers 32 i think's a good price we've got four um pretty good units good against bow uh, in the open, if they get the charge off, good against cavalry, um, just all round unit, good price. So that's a plus. 
I've only got at the moment um, two archers. If you include uh, one crossbowman and one of the unit of archers, I was trying to mix up um, the units a little bit, see what options w there were. Um, if I took out, say, one of these Zekla Cav and the light version, that's two Cav I've taken out, and then I take out one of the skirmisher units, takes us to 213, and then you could add three more archers. Now, when you add them all up, that might be the way people would play with this army, a little bit less cav, um, because I think the way the new armies are, are really set up, um, you're gonna probably need quite a lot of bowmen it's a pity that there's not more crossbowmen that's another negative i've only got one so these archers if they get charged they're not going to last long against infantry or cav but probably the way everything is working out you it, it could be good to have five archer units because they'll do well against cavalry and they'll do well against infantry and other bowmen um so Probably a lot of people would, would just take the extra archers. Because I haven't lost all that much. I've only lost one skirmish unit and two cav. And I've still got 15 cav. So this probably gives you probably a slightly better chance of, of winning and doing well, I would say. I think... Um, there are a number of weaknesses. You just don't have much infantry or that much good infantry. No armoured spear, um, no impact foot, um, no elite infantry at all. Lancers, yes, I like the Byzantine Lancers. They're a great unit, 41. They're above average armoured, so really good value for 41, but only one. It'd be great if it was two or three, um, but one, that's not a lot. Um, I would probably, you know, if I had the option, I'd, I'd take out one of these and just take out um, the Byzantine Lancers, and then I'd have 15 left, you know, to, um, to spend on peasants <laughs> or more archers, maybe take out another... Um, of the skirmish units and you know you, so in that sense it's a bit annoying that there's a you, you're wasting a lot of um a lot of money it seems i mean maybe you could take out one of these this unit of knights at 72 um and then you could uh, maybe take out you've got up to seven there and the one preset so you've got up to eight archers you can take so maybe Again, maybe some players would take out the knights and take yet more archers. That takes us to 14 cav. But a nice now. I mean, you'd have to probably play a bit more defensive. Um, You've got to try and protect these archers as much as you can. My rating is about a, maybe a B minus because yes, even though you can take quite a lot of archers, they're not the better bowmen. I mean, there's going to be armies with a lot more of the crossbowmen, which are just better units for not much more, only um, three points difference, and yet they're swordsmen. And they're protected as well. Um, so it'd be great if we just could have even two or three crossbowmen. It would, I would feel happier. Um, and then you've got the mixed bow as well. Um, a lot of armies going to have mixed bow with armor. So they're just not going to last against cav or mixed bow, these kind of units. And not that much great infantry. So yeah, a B minus is about what I would give this army 
Uh, there, there is some potential. It's not a terrible army. Um, you've got some good units. You're going to have to try and use your Nomad Horse Archers and your Lancers. They're going to win you the game, I would say, with backup from the Master Archers. So let's see um, how this army does in the league. But uh, if you've been following my videos, I think there are f far better armies than this. Um, so <laughs> good luck if you're playing with it and um, let us know how you do. And if you're playing against it, let us know how you're doing. Okay, thanks a lot for watching.